Hi, this is Justina. Welcome to part three of this week's meal prep where we make spicy sweet plantains and also turkey wings. The week, the next item that I will be prepping is the Kelawili or Akekru. I have already blended the spices that I'm using. So this is the spice blend. I also have here a little bit of cassava flour. Because I'm going to be baking it, I just add a little bit just to hold it together. And I also have a little bit of palm oil that I will also add to the mix since I'm baking it. And I have a little bit brush where I will also grease the pan that I will be using and I will be baking it in here a little cupcake thing that I have all right And my plantains are not super, super soft. I couldn't find a really, really soft one. So, you know, this will do. You just got to mash it more when you're mashing it, which will be fun. All right, so now I have peeled all of my sweet plantains. Let's start mashing it. I have my potato masher. And like I said, we will be mashing. As you can see, I was having a hard time with the plantains. So it is best to really get the soft, soft one. And you can also put it in the blender to blend it. But I just prefer to use a potato masher to mash it versus the blender. If you do blend it in the blender, Please note you can also add your spices. The reason why I do not like to blend it with the spices is if the spices is too hot, then you cannot control it. I prefer to do it this way where I add the spices little by little and I can control it. You can also use any flour of your choice. I just happen to have cassava flour. That was why it was the choice that I used. But you can use any flour that you want. And the same thing, just add a little bit by little till you have the consistency that you prefer. If you use too much flour, it will be too much doughy. To check on it, just stick a toothpick in it. If the toothpick tip is still moist, it is not done. If it's dry, it's done. I have here some turkey wings and I am adding to it the seasoning blend that I made early which was the roasted veggies to it to marinate it. And I also have some chinchinga spices and I will also add it to some of them. So I have variety of choices. I sprayed it with some cooking spray. It was not pictured, but I sprayed some cooking spray on it before I put it in the oven. So there you have it. 
this is the spread of everything that I meal prep. Happy cooking! Everything is done. It's time to prep it. Okay, another tip to help you with your meal prep is containers. Whatever container you get, make sure that it doesn't leak. I got these, all of my containers from a combination of Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I have noticed that if you can find them there, they are cheaper than online. For example, I got these glass bowls that I use for my soup, which is 13.5 ounce at TJ Maxx for $2.99. And I almost purchased plastic ones online and it was four for 25. So if four plastic ones for 25 versus these um, glass ones um, for $2.99. So check those places if you are looking for containers to store. Another tip is if you do get plastic, please know that let your food cool down before you put it in the plastic because um, you don't want the plastic smells to come in your food. Thank you for watching this week's meal prep. Everything is ready. It looks delicious. It smells amazing. Remember, new videos will be uploaded every Saturday.